Welcome to the second Ape tutorial video. This video will show more about working with sequence files. In the last video we talked about the information about the currently selected region. There's one extra piece of information that was not talked about, which is the translation. You can translate the um, selected region and live and that's shown here or you can turn the current the translation off if you turn it on you can choose to translate in the forward or reverse and then you can also translate uppercase only if you wish to ignore any dna sequences in lowercase for example here you can see the translation is not changed when you move through this lowercase region, but then does change when new uppercase text is encountered. You can use the toolbar to um, perform several functions that are also in the main menu. For example, this button makes a new DNA window. If you uh, shift click on the toolbar, you hold the shift key down while clicking. It will duplicate the current selection into a new sequence window. You can make, open a file. You can save the current file or shift click to save the current file as a new file name. These functions are also available in the main menu as well as opening recently um, opened files. Next is the edit menu. The edit menu can primarily do the um, functions of cut, copy, and paste. But because this is DNA, you can also cut, copy, and paste the reverse complement. So if you copy this feature. You can paste it in the forward orientation or you can paste it in the reverse orientation. The same as um, copying, you can copy in the reverse orientation then paste or paste in the reverse complement. These functions are available both from the main menu and from the toolbar where holding down the shift key while clicking on the toolbar will do the reverse complement function of the cut, copy, and paste. There is also select all. You can select an area or you can jump the selection cursor to a particular place. And those are duplicated functions of double clicking in the information box here. There's also a find function where you can find DNA sequences and just do find next and it will move the selection to that region. You can choose to find that in both the top and the bottom strand or only in the top strand, in which case it will not find the sequence on the, in the reverse complement, as it has here. You can make it case sensitive, in which case it will only find it when the case matches. In this case, there are no um, lowercase versions of this search text, and so it does, finds no match. You can also find it as an amino acid. So if you search for GG, it will find it as the translated version of that sequence. If you ask find as literal, you can search for GGN and it will only match when it, there is an actual base N in the sequence. Whereas if you do not ask for it to search literal, 
that will find the sequence with the IUPAC um, degeneracy code uh, in the search. So in this case, it would match two Gs followed by any base. You can also highlight all of the um, regions that match the search parameters, and it will highlight in light gray the forward matches, and in dark gray, the reverse matches. You can then take those and make new features out of the um, find highlighting, if you would like. You can change the colors that those are highlighted in by changing the colors within the preferences. Also within the preferences, you can change all of the um, current text foreground and background, the selection foreground and background, um, as well as uh, enzyme highlighting, which we will talk about in a later time, the um, default feature colors. You can change whether the feature table rows are highlighting the colors or not. Some people prefer the feature colors to be highlighted here. Some people prefer it all white. You can also, within the preferences menu, change the size of the text and the um, font that it's being displayed in. This is very useful for monitors that have a very high or very low pixel density. And I would recommend, if you are having trouble on a particular computer monitor, going to the preferences and uh, changing the text size so that it's easily visible for your setup. This is the text size in graphical um, outputs, like a feature, like a text, like a graphic map or um, a digest. This is the toolbar size in uh, pixels. You can change and um, translate to other languages. Those haven't been updated in a while, and so they may be limited in the non-US um, locale. You can change whether you can type in any base in the degenerate code, or you can limit the input to these um, functional sets. If you like typing in a different um, set of keys, you can change so that you will translate any particular key press to any of these A, C, G, or T. That's it for the second video. Take a look at the next video in the series for more information.